obviously gonna cut this out later. Yes, you know what I'm talking about? Like a, you know. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It's been a hot minute. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of footage of me recording in such a manner saying it's been a minute and then I didn't do anything with that footage. But hopefully that is not the case with this. Today is December 6th. This week was a little bit different for me as I took the week off of tattooing so that I could prepare for the holiday market that I am a part of tomorrow. I I'm just preparing for that right now. I did start to pack yesterday, which I will show you. I'll also just give you a very brief um, tour of my very cluttered but starting to come together studio space. I'm hoping to vlog the event as well. So here's to hoping here's to hoping it's a successful event and that I don't forget to vlog. But I'll check in with you guys in a minute. I think I learned this from another uh, YouTuber who does markets, but I take my very very lovely Samsonite hard shell suitcase that my uncle in Korea got me for travel, but I get to use it for this too. <laughs> but I have one of the tablecloths that I use for my backdrop, and then I've got stickers, some painted notebooks, other goodies, all packaged nicely in here. Anything with wheels really is going to help you in this. Oh no. I think I'm messing up our hard floors. Okay, I think it's just the finish, but damn. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish packing the rest of everything I can fit in here. I'll show you guys new prints that I just printed yesterday. This was my first draw this in your style challenge, which was a while ago, but I realized I didn't ever make any prints of it. And this squirrel is a little squirrel I painted on a wooden panel with acrylic, but it was so popular at my other event that I decided to make a little print of him. Uh, do you guys want to see the studio for a sec? Okay, it's seriously all in disarray. Printer very temporarily is here. We're gonna, gonna fix that. My desk is a hot, hot mess. These are the new earrings that I just finished yesterday, so don't mind that. Again, nothing is really unpacked, so this is where we're at. This is where I have been taking photos for Instagram and stuff. Again, it's not great. Nothing in here right now is ideal, but this is where we're currently working. And those things are also coming with me. I did have some earrings at the tattoo studio to sell, and so I brought home the tin that I do need for tomorrow and the leftovers. It's always fun to go through them. So I'm going to pack all of my earrings now because I just finished taking photographs of them and my new prints, which are the prints I still need to sign and package. But all of these, for the most part, I photographed in some way or another. So I'm going to go ahead and put them all in this protective fishing tackle box so that they can be safe. Also, guys, I had a bit of an epiphany. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but I had been, you know, obviously failing to try to keep the earrings on the cardboard backings with some washi tape, which in this instance didn't do anything. Let me show you one that's withheld the test of time. So like this, for instance, is how I had them. But why didn't I think of this as a marvelous solution? I had to get new um, fish hook, you know, jewelry hook to make this new batch, this new batch of earrings because I was running low and they came with these. I mean, I feel so much more professional. I just took a second to count all of the earrings that I have ready to go for tomorrow and I have 68 pairs. I'm kind of recording this to make a mental note for myself too to keep track of how many I sell at this next market because I honestly don't really remember how many pairs I started with last time or at the other market but the new ones that I made with the epoxy enamel these new ones I only made 15 pairs which means holy I made a lot the first time around I must have been so excited I spent a lot of time working and assembling the last batch that I just made yesterday and 
I was just thinking how much I really enjoy this process and how I would like to continue to improve and evolve this um, jewelry making. I think for the longest time I wanted to figure out how to make wearable artwork and so far I've really been enjoying this. I'm going to get to signing the new prints that I made and packaging them. With the week that I had off from tattooing, I was able to make 15 new pairs of earrings. Granted, I did draw them and have them shrunken already, but I did try a new method of glazing, creating that glossy effect on them. And I made two new prints. It's not a lot, but good enough right oh I wanted to show you guys my new stickers um, this is the new coasty bunny I checked with a few of my friends before I got these this one made because I thought it was very very simple but thankfully my friends were quite receptive of it another new one she is based on a painting I did that I actually have to sell at craft lake squirrel yet but are all ready to go and just pack up my suitcase and I think we'll be ready for tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Woke up at like 5 40 today. Um, we need to be at the venue by 7 30 and it takes about 30 minutes to get there. Actually I think we're supposed to be there at 7 20 but I'm just getting ready. Um, I'm so sleepy. I slept probably a little bit later than I should, but David made me some coffee, so we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Hopefully I don't forget to vlog. I forgot to vlog all of the rest of yesterday. I finished packing up, we packed up the car, and then I actually spent some time organizing the house a little bit, and then I got to some of my tattooing emails. I'll show you guys my outfit. This is the outfit today how my socks are right now and then I just finished doing my hair and I'll be wearing cute ears and a sweater that I should know. Hi Toby. Good morning Toby. But I guess we're pretty much ready. There's the full outfit. I look like a crazy person. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Not these ears. to vlog setting up everything but we're set up now we here here's my booth but I'll show you guys my booth later okay this boy brought me pizza and churro hi <laughs> hi do you want to be in my shot oh yes. my churro Just churros there? Yep. Man, that is good. Oh, and I was like, I'm so starving. And I saw that they didn't have that much sugar on them. And I saw like a shaker. I was like, is this sugar? And I just grabbed it. It's like, no, that's salt. It's like, oh. it's like, what do you want, man? You, I, he put sugar on them. I'm like, what do you want? Like, throw more sugar? It's like, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my god, it's like crazy. It's, like it's so good. Did you just go find a garbage can? No, I got some. Oh, you did! I just got it. Nice! Okay, everything is coming down now. Time to break down. Guys, we finished loading up the car. We did it pretty quick. Do you know what time it is, honey? 6.40. Only 6.40 and the, the event stopped or ended at 6. So pretty quick loading out time and we're now heading over to I'll show you this really cute street that's like has the most Christmas lights I've seen. So there's a lot. You'll I'll show you. Oh my goodness, Ogden. Ogden loves Christmas. Pretty cute though. Quite packed with people though. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> It doesn't end. It's no, so it's forever. What's over there? Are all of these houses little displays? I think so. Jeez. <laughs> Strangled. The kids need help. They're trapped. Oh. Dripping rain or snow water. <laughs> Holy crap, this goes on forever. Hey guys, just wanted to go ahead and close out this vlog. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the market that I barely showed you. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. We had a lot of fun and we're gonna now enjoy time to eat. our delicious food. And please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And I will see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, so I just wanted to check in and say thanks for bearing with me through this video. I feel like vlogging is a muscle and it had definitely been a minute since I had vlogged and I rarely ever do in public so it was definitely a struggle. I'll definitely try my best to improve in the future. I just wanted to share some closing thoughts on this market experience. Again, it was only my second market but I felt that it was decently successful for me. One of the biggest mistakes I made this market was I forgot to bring my cash and my square chip reader. So last time I just had this little pouch that I kept throwing the cash in that I had like change in and it wasn't the most efficient method of keeping my cash safe and in one place. So this time I decided to go with this little bag that I thrifted 
It's really nice because of its size. I love the little pocket that's in the front and I made it so that it hits kind of like where a fanny pack would hit is where it like falls on my body when I wear it like a crossbody. So I really liked it and I would definitely recommend getting something that's gonna stay on your person while you're doing these markets to store cash and square chip readers and whatever else you need to um, you know, keep your money safe and sound and in one place. But since this was the first time I was using this, I was like viewing this as a part of my outfit so I forgot to stuff it into that suitcase. So I left it at home. So thank goodness for my husband, David, for driving all the way home and back with this for me. That was definitely the biggest mistake I made. It was a really great event. I love doing these markets. Working with Craft Lake City is always so amazing. I always get to meet a lot of cool makers and creators. I'm definitely going to be applying for the Craft Lake City's DIY Festival in the summer. It'll take place on August 7th through the 9th. So hopefully I will get in. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and New Year's if you partake in those celebrations. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm really, really hoping to make YouTube a more regular thing this year maybe like two videos at least a month. So please stay tuned and hit that bell notification button so you can be notified when a new video is up. Anyway, so much love for you guys. Hope you guys are having the best day and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Peace out, yo.